Hello, I'm Wiebke and welcome to another episode of Eco Explorers. Today we will be talking to Colin Walton. He's a lecturer in mammal ecology and parasitology. Recently he has been doing the Iris Stoke project and he has also worked with squirrels at Pine Mount. Okay, so uh, Colin, thank you for taking the time for this interview. First of all, how did you get involved with NYG and where, where were you before then? Well, I've been working here in Anywhere Galway since 2001. Um, I came in not long after finishing my PhD, which was in Grey Squirrel Ecology, which I did in Trinity College in Dublin. And after that, I was working with Antasca for a short time in their environmental education unit where they do projects such as Green Schools, the, the um, environmental awareness campaign, the schools, and the blue flags for beaches. So I was working with them and then got the opportunity to come here and have been here ever since. What is the Irish Stoke project? This is a project um, one of my PhD students is working on. Um, Irish stoat is a, a native species we have in Ireland. Um, but it's also very important because it's an endemic subspecies, which means it's not found anywhere else except for the Isle of Man. So the Irish population becomes very important, and it's important that we, if we're going to conserve the, the animal, that we know as much as we can about it. And very, very little has been done on them in recent years. And part of the reason for that is they're very difficult to study. Stokes don't take to being handled at all well. They're um, particularly um, uh, vicious little carnivores, even though they're very small. And so it's very difficult to work with them. So what we're concentrating in that project on is uh, non-invasive techniques, which are methods of surveying a population without actually interfering with the animals themselves. So we use things like footprint tunnels and air tubes, which are uh, little tunnels, again, made of basically drain pipe that collect hair samples of the animals when they run through. And we can do genetic studies then on the hair that's left behind. And one of the big things that we're doing as well is a distribution survey, which enlists the help of the general public through a citizen science project. So um, people send us in their records and photos and uh, information about stoats in their area. And we can look at the area, look at the habitat available, and learn an awful lot from about them there as well. You also work with pine martens and squirrels. Could you tell us what that involves and the benefits from studying these animals? Sure. Well, we've been doing quite a lot of work on squirrels um, in the department here. In fact, I've been working on squirrels all the way through since I was doing my PhD. We have two species of squirrels in Ireland, the grey squirrel and the red squirrel. Mm -hmm. and it's a classic example of an invasive species, which is the grey squirrel coming in and causing problems for the native species, which is the red squirrel. And we've been running ongoing distribution surveys, looking at the ranges of the animal. And for the last hundred years, as the gray squirrel has expanded from where it was introduced, the red squirrel has started to disappear. And so part of the project is continuing to monitor that. But in our most recent um, project, which finished a PhD student, Dennis Sheehy, finished last year working on the project, um, we were investigating the role that a third animal, which is the pine marten here, has mm -hmm. had on the dynamics of the two species. The pine marten and the red squirrel seem to get on perfectly well. Pine uh, red squirrels have been um, coexisting with pine martens for a long time mm -hmm. and seem to be able to avoid them. But gray squirrels are having um, a sort of reversal of fortunes because of the pine marten. Where the pine marten are found in high numbers, the grey squirrels have started to disappear. And we believe this is because they just don't know how to, ha um, how to cope with them. Pine martens have had a, a real recovery in the last maybe 30 years since uh, they became protected in Ireland. Their numbers have increased and the grey squirrel has started to disappear again. So that study was looking at um, the, the three species and seeing the, the impact that the pine martens have on the grey squirrel. Thank you for this interview, it's been very interesting and we hope to hear more from you in the future. Okay, thank you.